Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Marbach and I'm going to show you how you can contribute to the Microsoft Docs website. It's docs.microsoft.com. So uh, all you need to actually contribute to Microsoft Docs website is you have to register for GitHub and have a username there. So that's pretty simple. You go to github.com, register your username, pick a meaningful password, sign up for GitHub, and that's already it. After that, you need to be logged in like I'm currently am. So my name is Daniel Marbach. I'm from Switzerland, as you can see here on my GitHub profile, and that's what my blog where I sometimes blog. But let's not talk about me, me too much. Let's talk about how you out there can contribute meaningfully to the Microsoft Docs website. Since I'm an Azure MVP, I'm going to show you how you can contribute to the Azure uh, Docs Docs on the doc side, but of course, what, what we are going to see here in this short, quick introduction tutorial applies to any doc site that is available on docs.microsoft.com and not just to the Azure section. So I opened here the quick start tutorial for writing.net service fabric applications in Azure. And I'm currently reading this at home and I'm thinking, let's walk through this tutorial, let's do this. And while I'm reading, through this, to this beautiful documentation, let's see if I, find, if I can spot something on this doc site that needs to be improved. Oh, here, I think I found something. Let's have a quick look. Here what we see is when debugging application in Visual Studio. That sounds like someone like me from Switzerland has written that in English. So let's, let's improve this a little bit. So when debugging application in Visual Studio, I think this is missing a the when, de when debugging the application in Visual Studio. So let's improve this documentation. So I'm, so I'm copy pasting this pretty quickly so that I can find it. How do we actually improve this documentation? Well, as we can see here on the top, we have edit link. So if we click this edit link, we are redirected to the GitHub repository of Microsoft. And now we are in this file and it's written in, it's a markdown file that we can now edit. So how can we edit this markdown file? Well, that's, that's pretty simple. So we can essentially click here on the, the pencil icon. And if we click on the pencil item, it creates a fork of this documentation on GitHub on our user account. And now we can, we can scroll through this Markdown file. And by the way, if you're not familiar with Markdown, with Markdown that's not a big deal because it's basically just text with some, with some formatting mark, which is called Markdown, where we add, for example, um, uh, different, different syntaxes to declare an image and, and whatnot. But it's not really relevant because here in this example, we are just editing some minor grammar things. So we don't actually need to understand Markdown here. So let, let, me, let me try to search for this application thingy. So now we are here in this when debugging an application in Whistle Studio. Let me highlight this pretty quickly again. So that's here. So how about we change this when debugging the application in Visual Studio? So that's the, only, that's the only change we want to do so that we can essentially improve the documentation. So now we have to go to the pro proposed file change view and we can leave it as is, or we can give it a meaningful name, what we just edited. And uh, I think I'm giving it a meaningful name. Let's say introduced the, so, so let's propose the file change. And we, if we click this button here, it creates a pull request or it redirects us to the pull request view, create pull request. And now we can already see the changes that we applied. So when debugging the application, we can diff it if we want, but that's not really relevant for here because we already know that that's, that's enough of a change. So let's create a pull request Let's leave the description as is. Let's hit the create pull request button. And now this pull request is added to the Microsoft Docs website. And it's one, it's going to be one of the many pull requests that will be reviewed by Microsoft and at some point in time 
will hopefully be merged. So that's already it. I hope you like I hope you like this quick tutorial how we can how we can make how we can make the Microsoft Docs web website slightly better every day and if you spot anything you would like to improve on the Docs website use this tutorial to edit and propose changes to Microsoft I'm pretty sure Microsoft employees and the whole community will gladly appreciate any changes you're making to the Docs site which makes it gradually better and better and better. Well, it's already quite good, but we can always improve a little bit. I hope you had fun with this quick tutorial and have a great day. See you again next time.